Let's cross now to Bulalani Philip. He joins us live from our parliamentary studios. Bulalani, good afternoon to you. Uh, so on its last appearance before Parliament, ICASA said the same thing, that they had uh, received no written confirmation from the SABC whether or not there was compliance with the order. And today that is still the case. Good afternoon to you, Natasha. Yes, I can confirm that, you know, ICASA did make the presentation to the Communications Portfolio Committee uh, meeting this morning. I think their presentation was identical to the presentation that they've made to the ongoing ad hoc committee into the governance issues of the SABC. Basically, coming out again, confirming that they have not received a formal uh, notification from the board from the board of the SABC, uh, which they had sought in line with their ruling that they've made last year. Now, the technical difficulties around this particular uh, you know, issue is that ICASA is seeking a board resolution on this uh, matter that is withdrawing, you know, that decision of uh, banning violent protests. But you know that, you know, uh, SABC is having the challenge of not having a board that is uh, having a quorum at the moment and therefore they have in the past indicated that you know they have sent the CASA uh, letters from uh, lawyers of the SABC to say that you know they've actually you know withdrawn that particular decision as well in correspondences with the ICASA and the SABC SAPC has continued to maintain that that decision of banning violent protests, you know, had never been fully implemented. But, you know, testimony that has been put before courts by the SAPC 8 does seem to suggest otherwise. All right. And there's also this issue that uh, last year, CASA revealed that it had laid criminal charges against the SABC for not adhering to its order. Is that matter still under investigation by the Hawks, I believe? Yes, I can say that, Natasha. You know, ICASA this morning reiterated that, you know, it had laid a police charge with the police in November last year. And about two weeks ago, they made a follow-up on that particular charge to check its status. And what they've told the committee this morning is that uh, the police have informed them that this matter has now been escalated to the level of the Hawks uh, who are currently, you know, investigating, uh, you know, that particular matter. As to when that particular charge, you know, will be brought before the courts or not uh, is something that they either are not aware of, have not received information from the Hawks. And that uh, briefing before Parliament today adjourned for today. So what happens next, Bulalani? Well, uh, at the moment, Natasha, is that, uh, you know, the committee has noted, you know, some of the issues or the report, you know, that has been put forward by ICASA. And, of course, uh, ICASA has indicated that it's going to continue to monitor, you know, compliance by the SAPC as well as other licenses to ensure that, you know, they work in line with their license, you know, regulations. All right, Bulalani, thank you very much. Bulalani Philip, live from our parliamentary studio.